Hola, my name is Agatha and this is your monthly astrological forecast. This is a very general reading. If you'd like a private consultation with me, Tarot or Astrology Consultation, please go to my services page, the link is below, and see my rates. If you'd like to work with me, just send an email to duniazad.gmail.com. You can also support me through my Patreon page, the link is below as well. Uh, before going to the reading, I'd like to tell you that I have a newsletter and if you subscribe, you can win my monthly free Tarot reading. The link is www tinyletter.com dash tuniazad all my readings are written by me there is no software readings so Aquarius <clears throat> I'm sorry let's see how March will be for you this is going to be very general only the, I'm going to only speak of the solar eclipse solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse the solar eclipse happens at 18 degrees and 50 I'm sorry 56 minutes of Pisces on the 8th or um, 9th of March 2016 and the lunar eclipse happens uh, 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 on 3 degrees and 17 minutes of Libra on the 23rd of March 2016 in your case Aquarius uh, your solar eclipse happens on the second house solar eclipses mean something uh, they uh, speak of something new which is entering your life a renewal a transformation something new which is entering your existence and it will be present more or less during six months however this solar eclipse will be conjuncting the south node the transiting south node whatever the the the, the south node transits in your natal chart it means something that you must let go of so that something new can come in into your life so the, this solar eclipse, eclipse speaks of two things at the same time something exits exits your life so that room and space is available for something new to come in into your life in your case if this is the second house it has to do your resources your values could be you no know, material values but also immaterial values something to which you give value to Aquarius I'm gonna give you an example uh, values freedom it is like the, the the most important thing for Aquarius individual individual freedom individual individuality the ability to express your own individuality you know and equality it's really important for Aquarius I'm just giving you an example so let's say you're gonna uh, give up an old job a new way uh, an old way of making money uh, because you are developing new spiritual Pisces values and the, the the job that you had no longer works for you in, in the value sense so let's say I'm gonna give again again another example don't be mad at me this is just an example I have no idea how your life is imagine that you work and you really were well established in your career and you work for a very big company and you're the leader you're the boss but this company uh, might for instance pollute is a very big uh, uh, pollutes the I, I know the ocean the sea the world that in in some some way and you through the years understand that this is wrong this is absolutely wrong i do not align with the values of this company i must leave this company i must find another way another type of work i must find work in a company which aligns with my new values so you might go to a new company that doesn't pollute the world that, that is strictly against it even something that fights that type of beha behavior so uh, and now you're making money in a way that aligns with your new values uh, also you can have for instance nothing to do with this and you perfectly content contempt with your work but something happens and you are let go uh, maybe the company needs to you know cut, cut down uh, resources and cut down expenses and the way they see it is let go of people fire people and now you're like oh my god and now how will i make money <coughs> i'm sorry pisces is a very artistic sign so you decide okay <coughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry so you decide okay i'll i'll i can be a freelancer i can sign up for upwork or whatever and i can uh be a designer and you uh work from 
you, you make money using your artistic talents, for instance. It's a new way, in a way that you never thought would be possible, a way that you never thought you'd be doing it. Um, but you maybe have to because you were let go of your work and it was not your choice. And you might be impressed by the amount of clients that you have. That you'll be, they will be like exploding lots and lots of clients. Um, if, for instance, like I said before, you leave uh, your company to work in a, uh, another company uh, that aligns with your new, new uh, values, you might uh, be in a position of leadership but you might earn less money and you might have lots and lots and lots of work. Lots and lots and lots of work. Um, and this work might be for the next, starting March, might be present for the next seven months. Lots and lots of work. Um, so this is the uh, solar eclipse. The lunar eclipse will be happening in your case, Aquarius. Where does it happen? In your ninth, ninth house. But, sorry, like this ninth house so the lunar eclipse speaks of a culmination and sometimes of an ending so let's say that you you uh, uh, are working for a company i have a cousin and he's an engineer and uh, he works for one company but this company places him in Cab, Cape, uh, Cap Verde, no, I don't know how to say this, for like two years and then after that he's like in Belgium for another year and after that he might be in France for another two years. Imagine that is something like that. So that uh, everything is okay with your company and uh, you uh, uh, just finish up a project abroad and you, your company works worldwide and uh, you just uh, around the 23rd of March you are finishing finishing up a project of any type abroad let's imagine like you work in uh, for instance Dubai and you work on uh, an architecture, architecture project I'm making stuff up I'm just giving you like random examples and that project has ended so you leave Dubai and then you're going to be the next six months or even further than that you're going to be placed in i don't know south africa or whatever um so it could be that it could be finishing up a project where you are uh, abroad uh, or it could even be something absolutely different it could be the ninth house is the house of uh, the law and justice so uh, a law case, a, a judicial case, might be ending, and you might uh, getting a. Uh, in Portuguese, you call it. We call it imunização. Uh, you might be paid for something. You might be uh, this 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 case ends in the courts, and you are uh, given a amount of money. I don't know how to say this. I'm sorry, uh, but it might not be as big as you expected. Let's say like year, uh, years ago, usually in Portugal, in, I'm, I'm giving you the example in, of Portugal. I have no idea how it is in other countries. But in Portugal, if something goes to the courts, oh my God, it stays there for oh, stays there for years. So imagine that you were, your job was wrongfully terminated years ago and you went to the court because you, found, you thought this is unfair. So finally, around the 23rd of March, uh, the, the final decision comes out and you are uh, attributed, attributed, given uh, an amount of money to pay for that. But it, uh, because uh, the, the ruler of the solar eclipse is uh, Venus and she's in Pisces on your second house, the house of money that we, we earn, she's making a square to Saturn and Saturn limits. Saturn is located in, in your 11th house, the house of organizations. Um, and big entities also, the house of friendship and other things. So, the money that you get might not be as big as you thought. So, it might be really, really limited, really small. Uh, I don't know, maybe you're expecting, let's, let's, I'm going to give like a random number, 10,000 and you get a thousand of whatever, euros or, or dollars or whatever. So, really limit, limited. Um, it could be that. It could be that because you are developing, like I said before, around the 8th, 9th of March, there's like a new set, 
you're beginning a new set of values that might be connected with spirituality like you these are being born into you uh, around the 23rd of march suddenly if you like a, a church goer of like or you went to your church whatever religion it is it doesn't make any sense like i don't want to go to church anymore because what i'm thinking and feeling and developing and what i'm hearing in the church makes no sense to me anymore so you kind of might be and this is a process this is not doesn't this doesn't happen like immediately for the next six months you might start going less and less and less to the church if you were an ordinary church goer i'm saying church it could be anything it could be mosque it could be temple whatever you start going less and less and less and you might be, decide okay i'm a christian i was raised let's say catholic but this makes no sense to me anymore i'm gonna leave uh, the, the Catholic Church and I'm going to be a B Buddhist I'm start um, I will be attending more and more Buddhist uh, uh, I don't know uh, rites or whatever so you might leaving a cult or a church or a religion because you're adapting a new religion a new you're going to a new a new way to a, to a new church for instance um, also, this solar eclipse happens, opposes uh, the sun, of course, I'm sorry, not solar, lunar eclipse, because it's lunar, it opposes you know, uh, the sun, the, but this sun is uh, connected with Mercury, and they are both in Aries in your third house. Do not get involved in religious and political discussions. There's like a very big... Uh, possibility that these arguments might be heated so don't get involved don't try not to have those type of arguments if it's not a thing to do with religion and politics it could be something to do with art why because libra also rules art and aesthetics in harmony so you might be having discussions uh, of others uh, about what is art so this is not art this is stupid how is this art this cannot be art so you might be arguing with others you might be opening up the way you perceive art or or the other way around you might be closing up you might be deciding okay i used to like the contemporary uh, contemporary art but now i i this makes no sense to me it's stupid it it's not beautiful it's ugly to me art is only up Till the end of the 19th century so you might having be having discussions with someone who's like younger uh, and telling and this person is telling you no no this is digital art or this is whatever or this is uh, contemporary art this is art and you might be like no it's not no uh, this is not art this is stupid this is this is defacing public buildings this is you know you might be having very heated arguments about what constitutes art and what does not try not to have them try not try, try not okay so that's it uh aquarius this is all that i have for you i hope you have a great month bye bye